So this is one of our data sets as described in the PDF document. So what we've got here, we've got an experimental condition which is ecstasy users and non-ecstasy users and a memory score on a test simply a memory test and they get a score after 20 for it you can see in the variable view we've labeled non-users as zero users as one so what we want to do is simply see if there's a group difference in memory scores so to do this we'd simply just do an independent samples t-test in which we've got our memory scores our test variable our dependent variable and the grouping variable is simply ecstasy u01 so group 1 0 non users group 2 1 users click continue and ok and now when we look at the output here it's quite straightforward we're all familiar with t-tests now and as you can see there's no statistically significant difference between the two groups we have no evidence that there's a difference between the groups what happens if we just increase our sample size so if I just copy and paste this into the data set another four say so we've got five times so now we've got 100 participants all together so if we analyze this let's see what happens to our p-value we just simply run it again variables so what we can see here is we now have a statistically significant result you'll note that when we look at the two samples the means are the same there's no change at all However, what you'll see is there is a change in the standard deviations and the standard errors, and this is a product of the change sample size, and this is reflected in the t-statistic. Our degrees of freedom have also gone up, and this taken together is reflected in the greater statistical significance in our larger sample compared to the small sample, even though the differences between the groups in the two samples are the same, one is statistically significantly different than the other. So how does this influence our effect size? Here's our effect size calculator here that we can use. So let's use using the t-statistic here. So for our first one, we have our t-statistic of 1.025 and for mean 1, 10. M for mean tip. It's 10. Submit that. Okay, and as you can see, our effect size is 0 0.458. Now, what's our effect size for our second study? So, in this case, our T statistic is 2.392. And now we have 50 and 50 participants. Let's submit this. And you'll see our effect size now is 0 0.478. So the effect size between the two studies has not changed. The p-value has changed dramatically, but the effect size stays the same. And this is essentially because effect size is non-dependent upon sample size. All that matters is, is the magnitude of difference between the two groups. And because I copied and pasted the data again and again, the magnitude of the difference actually never changed. The numbers are maintained the same. So this is why effect size is so important to report. It gives us a good idea of how different groups are, or how similar groups are, or the association between groups, and if it actually matters in the real world.